My Filipino people, you know I'm not lying when I say this. You guys are noisy. <laughs> well, it was on top of a laundry mat. Your security deposit, you might never see it. Somebody tell me because they look the same to me. That thing was empty where you can find good deals. Good morning. I've been asked to do a video on Philippines versus Thailand. Which one I like better? Which one do I think is the best? I'm going to tell you what I think on both countries. Obviously, I like Thailand better because now I'm living in Thailand, right? I'm going to compare both countries and hopefully if you're planning on moving here, coming to visit, you can kind of have an idea of my views, my thoughts. This is not a fact. This is not the whole country of the Philippines versus the whole country of Thailand. This is just two places where I lived. I lived in the Philippines for six years and that was in Angeles City, Pampanga. And now I'm living in Thailand and I've been here for three years and I stay in Pattaya, Thailand. So this is the first video on Philippines versus Thailand, Thailand versus Philippines, however you wanna word it. The reason I say this is the first video is because I'm gonna be making a series of videos on this subject, on this topic. I don't wanna make one video, one long video with all the topics, all the subjects, you know, housing, infrastructure, internet, gyms, immigration, visas, girls. Most of you want to, want to hear about the girls. Today's video is going to be housing. Tomorrow's video or I don't know if it's going to be, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be dropping the videos back to back, but I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to do it back to back. Tomorrow, maybe I make the second video. Tomorrow I make just a regular vlogging video. Let's see what happens. But so let's start with money. How much do I pay for rent? How much have I paid for rent in the Philippines? How much have I paid for rent in Thailand? Again, this is my personal experience and I'm sharing it with you guys. And you guys can get a, a, a better understanding where I'm coming from. Right now, currently I pay 10,000 baht, 300 US dollars. And I have a condo slash apartment Again, I don't know the difference between a condo and an apartment. Somebody tell me because they look the same to me. Anyways, moving on. My apartment is about 70, 71 square meters. It's beachfront. My apartment came fully furnished. The only thing I bought was a TV because it, it, it came with an older TV and I wanted a little bit, something a little bit bigger. So I Everything came with it, dining room table, I had a nice L-section couch. When it comes down to apartments in Thailand, the amount of choices is, is a lot bigger than, than the choices you're gonna have in Angeles City. In Angeles City, there's a few apartment complexes that offer really nice apartment, really nice houses but they don't have too many, there's not too many high-rise buildings like you're gonna see in, uh, in Pattaya. For you to get something similar to what I have right now back in Angeles, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Yes, you can get a nice apartment for 300 US dollars, but it's not gonna be beachfront. I have a gym, I have a tennis court, I have a really nice, big pool which is right on the beach so again the amenities the facilities that you're gonna get for 300 US dollars for maybe 400 US dollars up to 500 US dollars it won't be the same or you might have one place that offer all those things in Angeles compared to Pattaya. Pattaya you can find many many places that offer great facilities and great things for less than 400 US dollars. Something you're not gonna see or you're not gonna find in Angeles City too much. Furnish versus unfurnished. 
in the Philippines. I don't know how it is now, but when I stay there, if if you rented at an unfurnished place, that thing was empty. <laughs> there was no there was no light bulb. Some some apartments they didn't have any. No fridge. No nothing. It was completely empty. It was just an empty room. So you had to buy everything. Shower curtains, curtains for, for your windows. I mean you name it. You had to buy TV, bed, couches, tables. It was completely empty. When they tell you in the Philippines that it is unfurnished, it will be unfurnished. I don't know how it is now. I don't know other people's experiences when it comes on to that. Every apartment I had in the Philippines that was unfurnished, it was unfurnished. There was nothing in there. In Thailand, again, Pattaya versus Angeles. Okay, I'm not saying the whole country of Thailand. I'm not saying the whole country of the Philippines. In Pattaya, most apartments that I have seen, most condos, most houses, the things you get inside the apartment, the furniture you get in the apartment, is not really that bad, okay? I have a really nice L-Station couch. The bed that came with the apartment is super comfortable. It's very nice. I have a washing machine. I'm not saying furnish is better. I'm not saying I'm furnish is better. It's something for you to consider. It's something for you to think about if you're planning on moving here for a month, for three months, for a year, that is something that you might want to look into. Do you want it furnished? Do you want it unfurnished? Your choice. Let's talk about where you can find good deals. In my opinion, social media. Facebook, Instagram, Google. If you go to Facebook, go to Marketplace. Hit location, change the location, and you can even zoom in exactly what part of Angeles City or Pattaya you want to move to. So it's, that's where I found most of my places. Even when I was in the Philippines, in Angeles City, I found a couple of apartments, a couple of places to stay at that way. So to me, Marketplace, Facebook is a very valuable tool that not too many people use. So don't fall asleep on the marketplace. Oh yeah, you can find all kinds of things in there. Furniture, <laughs> shoes, clothes. I mean, you name it, you can find it in the, in the marketplace. So let's go back, let's go back to location. Angeles City is basically a city. Angeles City is a city. So you, there's no beach. There's uh, maybe a little lake, a river in Clark. That you can go in, uh, Clark is another area of Angeles City. They have a lot of call centers there. They have a lot of outsourcing companies, uh, outsourcing jobs. It's a pretty uh, interesting place because when you get out of the main city of Angeles City and you go into Clark, it's a little bit different. And that is where the airport is in Clark. And Clark, Clark is where the airport is for Angeles. So it's a little bit cleaner there. Uh, I never, I have never stayed in Clark, so I can't tell you too much how how the apartments and condos are there. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Every time I've been there, either to the airport or to a gym, there is very clean. It's, it's, they, they keep it, they keep it very clean. It's not as noisy, even though it's in Angeles City. It's not as noisy as other places, other places in Angeles City. So what about stores, 7-Eleven, you know, things like that. In Pattaya, in Thailand, you're gonna see way more 7-Elevens and convenience stores. In Pattaya, I swear, <laughs> there's a 7-Eleven, like every block or every two blocks, there's gonna be a 7-Eleven or a family mart. So that's not, that's not gonna be an issue. Uh, some streets even have two 7-Elevens, one on each corner. So yeah, that's, gonna, that's not gonna be an issue. If you, in Angeles City, where I live, I think they have one 7-Eleven in that area, and then you gotta kinda go a little bit far if you wanna get to the next 7-Eleven. So let's say you go to a 7-Eleven, they don't have what you need. In Angeles City, you're gonna have to walk a little bit or jump on your car, jump on your bike, and go, go to the next one. Here, you just walk down the street, you're gonna you're gonna see another 7-Eleven, so that's no issues. What about outside the outside where you stay? 
in both places. Noise. My Filipino people, you know I'm not lying when I say this. You guys are noisy. <laughs> Philippines is a very noisy place, okay? You go into the 7-Eleven, they're gonna be playing music where the speaker is about to break. <laughs> you go to any store, any convenience store, it, it's gonna be loud. There's gonna be music playing, it's, that's a fact. Also, in the Philippines, they love karaoke and video key or however you wanna pronounce it, however you wanna say it, it is everywhere. Yes, some places in Angeles City, Philippines, they do have a rule that you cannot use the video key, the karaoke after 10 p.m. That is true. But before, p before 10 p.m. or whenever you can start using the karaoke, they're gonna be using it. A lot of places don't have that rule. So it's gonna be two, three in the morning and the karaoke, the video key is gonna be blasting outside your your apartment, your condo, whatever you stand, is going to be loud. You don't believe me? Ask somebody from the Philippines. That's the one thing that I kind of, I didn't, uh, I didn't like too much. It, it is loud anywhere you go. And you're driving around, they love honking their horn. You know, it's true. If you're a Filipino, if you live in the Philippines, you know that's a fact. Anyways, Thailand. They are a little bit more considerate when it comes down to noise. People can get, there's a little bit of noise. South, Southeast Asia is loud. It's not, a, you're not back in a, back in a Western country. It's, it's a little bit chaotic. It's a little bit loud. But comparing the two, Thailand and the Philippines, Philippines is, when it comes down to noise, you guys are top of the food chain <laughs> when it comes down to that. So yeah, take that into consideration noise if you can deal with noise then philippines is not gonna, that part is not going to be a problem thailand is a little bit less noisy which is more affordable philippines is more affordable when it comes down to housing not too much it's not like it's a big difference but again you get what you pay for so that is something you have to understand most apartments in angela city are furnished. The ones that are furnished with nice furniture, you're looking at 500, 600, 700 US dollars to, and up to stay in places like that. Compared to Thailand where you can easily find a condo, an apartment for $300 that's gonna be furnished, decent. You can find apartments in Angeles City for less than $100, but again, the area that you're gonna be staying at, not too great. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta rough it up a little bit if you're gonna spend less than hundred dollars in uh, Angeles City. And Pattaya, the cheapest I seen it was about five thousand baht, which is about one hundred and forty dollars, one hundred and forty-five dollars, give or take. The lowest I pay in the Philippines was 7,500 pesos. So the apartment was 140 US dollars. There was no security. There was no pool. There was no gym. It was very simple. It was on top of a laundry mat. <laughs> go through the back, go up some stairs, make a right, and it was three apartments on top of a laundry mat. It was pretty safe. I mean, even though there was no security, it was not really on the street. You have, before that, I stayed in, in a, a small town home, which I pay 12,000 pesos, which is about 225 US dollars. The lowest I pay in Thailand, in Pattaya, was 6,000 baht. 6,000 baht is 170 US dollars. And this place actually had a, a little security in the front and you had to use a key card to go into the building. Let's talk about landlords. I know some of you have heard your security deposit, you might never see it even when you leave the, uh, 
your place when the lease is up and then maybe, maybe you're gonna move to a different place or you're gonna move out of the country you can forget about your security deposit that has never happened to me people in both countries Philippines and Thailand have been very honest uh, one landlord it took a whole month for me to get my security deposit back I had asked a couple times but I finally got it back that was the only issue. Most places where I have stayed, within a week, I got my money back. They want to check, you know, there's no damage to the apartment, to the house, whatever. You're going to find more places that are cheaper in the Philippines or they are in Thailand. But take quality of life into the equation, okay? If you, got, if you want a nice apartment with security, a pool, a gym, maybe you're looking at about 300 US dollars to 500 US dollars in Pattaya. You can find that in Angeles City. If you want all those things, you're gonna pay about 500 and up. How it is right now in Angeles City, the prices, I have no idea. I haven't been there since I moved to Thailand. I'm telling you what I, what I experienced when I was there. What locations do you want to stay in uh, in Angeles City? I know two locations. Hansonville will be my choice. Malabanya Street. My number two is Clark. Even though I have never stayed there, they have some really nice places to live. For Pattaya, I would choose Naklua or Pratamnak Hill area. Or Jom Tien. Jom Tien is a little bit far from the center. This is this Central Pattaya, then you got Naklua, you got Pratamak. So, you know, it's not far from the center of Pattaya, the main, the main area, the tourist area, you know, where they have the cinemas, the malls, the shopping, the bars, the nightclubs. Which one is better? It's not a big, huge difference, but obviously, I have to keep it real. I choose Pattaya when it comes to housing because I live here. <laughs> if you have any more questions on this topic when it comes down to houses and condos and where to live and what to expect, leave me a comment. Other topics are gonna be covered. Again, this is the first video. The other videos are gonna be, again, girls, entertainment, gyms, visas, immigration, things like that. It's time to finish my coffee. So I've been talking too much and I've been uh, kind of ignoring my coffee. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, dislike, do whatever you want to do. Until next time, I am out.